Um, we've had two stories in the past month um, about the temple in Jerusalem uh, and what an important place it was for them. That was, that was where the people um, of Judea worshipped, um, where they worshipped God, gave thanks to God. They also studied there and taught there. Um, and it was just a, a very important place. And at that time, as we said, it was the only one in the area. So people had to travel to go to it. Now, um, for people who are Jewish, there is usually one where they live. There's a, and sometimes it's still called a temple, but more often called a synagogue. Um, anyway, so we've talked a lot about that. And so that made me start thinking about um, how the temple might have looked because there's all kinds of temples. And then it made me start thinking about um, what other places do people worship? What are the names of some other places that people worship? And what do they look like? And, and what is that like for those people? Because um, in some parts of the world and even in, in our country, we have people who, who maybe go to a mosque or go to a synagogue or they go to a temple. They don't go to a church. Maybe some don't, don't go at all. Um, so I wanted to talk about that a little bit today. I am sh sure that there is a better way I could do this, but this is what I could come up with with my voice. Um, so this is a picture of uh, a mosque. That is um, the Islam kind of uh, place of worship. Okay, and you can see it has these big domes. Those are very distinctive. Sometimes you see those on other kinds of buildings too, but those are very distinctive. Here is one of the symbols of Islam. It's a, a moon with a star. And then it has these towers that are called minarets. Minarets. You will not be tested. Okay. This is a, a picture of another one that shows more of the details of the building. Again, the domed roofs and the tall towers, the minarets. Those are usually where people, or at least used to be, where people, I don't know if they still are, go, would go to call people to prayers. So, so those are two examples of a mosque. So now we're gonna go back a little bit to a temple up here on the top of this big rock if you can see that there and that is a famous temple in Greece um, and and it's very very old it's really just ruins now that people don't use it anymore but that was where the the Greek people a long time ago worshipped their gods and goddesses You can see I'm so handy with the computer. This is a, another kind of temple. I believe this is a Buddhist temple. Uh, either in, I think it said it was in uh, China, in Beijing. And it has a different look to it. It kind of has a, um, it's called a pagoda when there, there are multiple roofs kind of tiered like that. Notice there's steps going up to it, so it seems very important because it's kind of higher up. And then you can see all the people that are going to it. Um, so a temple could be for a Buddhist um, or Hindu. This is a um, temple from a long time ago in South America. I believe it's called a ziggurat. Um, I don't know that they're used anymore, but it's again just another picture of a, of a place that people have worshipped. Now, this is the oldest synagogue in America, which I find kind of interesting. It's the oldest surviving synagogue in America, I should say that. Um, and it kind of just looks like a church or almost a normal building. You, it's, it's, um, there's some writing on the arch leading into there that probably would tell you what it was, but um, it's not super distinctive looking. And 
synagogues can look all different ways. Here's a really fancy one that looks a lot like a church, even has towers a little bit like a mosque. Okay, here's a really big one. And if you kind of zoom in, you can see a star. That's called the Star of David. So that's a symbol for the Jewish people of their faith, like the crosses for us. And here's um, one more. I took a lot of synagogues because they're all so different. This one almost looks a little bit like a castle to me. This is in Poland. Now here's a church. This well, it doesn't look just like our church, but it has some of the same features as our church. A steeple at the top. Um, a cross at the top. It's pretty tiny, you can't see it. Um, beautiful stained glass windows. This is an older church. Here's another one that it's also pretty big and fancy, but a slightly different style. Looks like it's someplace warm and sunny. I see palm trees. And it has the, cro uh, the cross in front of the church as well as on top of the church. It has some domes, even though it's not a mosque. It has some domes. And here is a very modern looking church. It's just very simple. Instead of having a steeple, they just made the whole church a big triangle. So it looks like a steeple, but it's um, just very, very plain and simple. And um, a lot of churches and temples and synagogues today might look like this because this is more modern architecture. Okay, end of slideshow. So, um, so a temple, a synagogue, a mosque, a church are all places of worship. They're all places that people go to worship God or occasionally gods. In a synagogue, um, they worship God, like, like we do in the Christian church. Um, and in Islam, they also worship God, um, but he has a different name, Allah. And then um, there are also, there's thousands of religions we can talk about. But we'll just kind of keep it simpler and keep it at that. There's also a video you can watch where some children of different religions talk about what they think God is. That's kind of interesting. This is just um, some features of the built different buildings. You can see that I drew a steeple with a cross. I drew just a cross. I drew those symbols that we saw, the um, Star of David, the Islam, and a cross, and some, some distinctive things. Columns, those could be in anything, a church, a temple, a synagogue, any of the above. I have two pages. I drew a little too big. There's something that looks like a pagoda. A lot of churches, temples, etc. have these arched doorways. That's, that's pretty common. Um, although they might have the, the columns instead. And then bells. So what you're going to do is you can print this off. And you can use it as just kind of a guide and just look at it, or you can cut these pieces out, or you can, if you want more of them, you can trace them and then cut them out. Um, and so I want you to just be creative and make a place of worship that could be for all kinds of people. Make it for, so it could have some things that are uh, Islam or Muslim, it could have some Christian things for like on our church. Uh, it could be Buddhism or Hindu, just anything. And use some of these different styles and make your own really special looking 
building or place of worship. And uh, you can call it whatever you want to.